It's your boy Mikey, but we talking media in the building. You know your man, man. I got a video for every single one of my subscribers. Matter of fact, too. Like, subscribe, share. Shout out to the people. We do this for fun. Yes, more towards the men. You understand? Because it's the lane that can be done with the men uh, as they look for self-improvement. Okay? When we get in here and we're looking at the comment section and, and the words from Kendra G. She's a uh, YouTuber. Oh, she's, oh we, we're going to hear something different. 235K subscribers. Uh, came up off of, I know people hate to say she was a dating uh, type of, uh, uh, do, did, did dating videos and then, uh, moved into, um, setting up, hooking up people one-on-one -on, -one on the show. And it's a, it's a fun show. I believe she's on Instagram and everything. So shouts to her. We're using her video, but today was the day that the Holloman man decided, yep, yep, yep. I'm going to ride Austin. Uh, because that's the lane I wanna I wanna kind of realm and be in with those with, with those with those ninjas, and uh, at the end of the day, he went in to try to you know he, he got some smoke for these ladies as he's back in America, and showing the differences for his dating in America versus the foreign countries. Um, I believe it's just where he's at, but we're gonna listen in to the comments between Kendra versus Austin. I hate to say it. The BW, black, black woman, versus the MBW, the male black, excuse me, the male, the, the, the black man, BM, all right? BW versus BM, sprinkle, sprinkle versus drizzle, drizzle. Let's go in and hear it. It's going to be fun. Let's get it. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay. No, I had to make sure you wasn't a webcam. I'm sorry, because you look like a webcam. Thank you. That's not a compliment. Yeah, it's not a compliment. I want you to get your Wi-Fi together. The Wi-Fi is bad? Okay, I think it's better. Okay. All right. Let's do it. Austin. Okay, you look good. How old are you, Austin? I'll be 25 in two weeks. 25 in two weeks. So you're a tourist. When's your birthday? May 16th. You got to admit, Kendra G got some money, boy. She came up. Look at her hair, man. Look at the hair. The Richard look like a Richard Millie on the wrist. Okay, nice outfit. The chain, I ain't, I don't, you know, depends on your vernacular. What kind of woman you like? Um, more towards the hip hop side. She looking, she looking, she looking nice. She looking a very big improvement through the years. The hair is right. Gotta admit, the hair is right. Let's go. That's not two weeks. My birthday's two weeks. That's three weeks. Mm. Two and a half. Okay, you have Gina Jackson's birthday. Yes, I do. I know. I'm May 7th. I know all, Gina, I love Gina Jackson. Right, let's do it. So we got Austin, 25. Well, 2024. Be 25, May 16. What do you do for a living? I'm a YouTuber as well. Oh, you're a YouTuber. Okay. I don't consider myself a YouTuber, but I respect that. That's what you consider yourself. Well, I got this. I, is my I, main YouTuber, I consider myself a journalist, but I understand. I, understand. I am a, I'm a journalist too. <laughs> Are we going to say things? She says, I'm not a YouTuber, I'm a journalist. A lot of journalists are going to get angry at that, my folks. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you. I would say, Kendra, to be straightforward, well, they, they could be, both be considered journalists, but what Austin's doing is traveling the world, collecting data, and showing real-life experiences across the world, including, including the food, the culture, and what's going on. All right? Just a heads up for you. I think we can go to her show from what I've seen, and I need to look more, she brings on guests. Well, yeah, I guess they both. She brings on guests. We hear their life story while they're in their situation. She gives them some consultations, and then, you know, she tries to, tries to hook them up, up via by getting them um, marketing, which means displaying themselves so that people can get at them. Um, I think Austin's more journalism. That's me being forthright straight for. We talking. Let's go. I said that as well. Okay, but, you, but do you want me to call you a YouTuber or a journalist? I want you to call me Austin Holloman. The question is, what do you do for a living, honey? YouTube. Okay. Uh, do you have any kids? I would hope that. So the answer is no? No. Okay. And where are you calling me from? Dallas. Dallas. All right, let's get into it. We got Austin, Dallas, 25. Uh, well, almost 25, May 16th. He's a YouTuber, no kids. Liz in Dallas. What kind of woman are you looking for? I'm looking for black women that have respect for black men. Ooh. So you think black women don't have respect for black men? Check this out. I've been all around the world, and I'm going to tell you Afro-Latinas and Africans got y'all beat. Got us beat. And how, and how do they have us beat? On every front. Then why not just date them and be happy? I live in 
Latin America. I'm just here to get my paperwork so I can stay going from y'all. But what I'm saying is, listen, I have no, whatever your desire is, your desire is. So if you found the, the type of woman. Yep, he told her. You can tell it. Very smart move. He's, he's going to blow up. <laughs> he does it all the time. See? I know what the young man's doing. There's going to be, and yes, a, a vehicle for guys that don't like Austin. a lot of channels that's going to go against them, like this guy, you know. You you take this video and you and you and you know you do your review of it. These are the blow up moments that got fresh and fit popping, a lot of channels popping. This is it. And he's getting here with Kendra G. I think he should do this more often. That once to date you the way you want to be dated, why not just focus on her? What will be the point of coming up here to ask for a black woman that you don't really feel like I, I I'm, I'm still trying while I'm here, so I want to see if my mind can be changed. No one cares. No one cares about changing your damn mind, honey. Really? <laughs> so, so, so nobody has an interest in changing my mind. No, it's not about nobody having interest. You said you found a group of women that have the interest, a group of women that you like. We're not mad at it. You should date those women. I mean, you I came on. You listen. You're, you came on just in black women, saying that they were not. Um, I, didn't, I didn't say that. I didn't. I never said that. You said that. Well, you said that you were looking for a black woman to have respect for black women, and you said Afro-Latino and African women have you beat. So my thing is, you should focus on those group of women since they have us beat, right? Yes, but I'm in the United States right now. Okay. Well, there's those group of women live in the United States too. And that's why well, I'm here. My thing is, like, if you have a problem with black women, we're okay with it. No, 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 no. I don't. I've said many times on my channel, the issue is not specifically black women; it's American culture. Well, black, the first, I'm repeating what you said, and what you said was, you want a black woman that has respect for black men, and then I said, okay, are you not finding that? And then you said other cultures had us beat. So when you said other cultures, um, cultures have us beat. Let's dig in about this and really have the conversation. Oh, and I keep mentioning environments, environments, environments. The argument I can, I'm just going to be on the young man's side for a little bit. The argument for Austin, if I have to look that hard to find the right environment, then something's wrong. That could be true because he, he is out in the field, maybe at the wrong times. Um, the culture in America, and I've traveled as well, so I understand where he's coming from as far as if you've been to Europe or South America. Um, let me give you a Brazil example, or I can give it, you know, I've been, I've been, I think most places he's been to, um, they're a culture that after work guys, and it's, it's kind of in, in downtown areas across the U S but Montreal is actually a good city to see that called European culture, Montreal or Canada. You can go up there and see the French culture at lunchtime. There's people sitting outside after work. There's people sitting outside. They actually go to go to bars and sit and eat. They sit and eat. Okay. Um, they talk. They drink. It's very sociable. Okay. Um, they're very strong on relationships. Now, are they cliquish? Kind of, sort of. It's how it's how it's how rambunctious you want to be to enter in their circle. All right. There's always going to be a side eye. But usually these folks have grown up with each other. They go to a bar. If you're very attractive and you're very noticeable, famous or something like that, obviously that negates everything. And they'll come up to you and they'll say, OK, hey, what are you up to? You from America? Blah, blah. You can join the group. You'll never really be in there, but at least you can join the fray of the uh, of the communication and the and, a, and the, I, I guess I want to say it. I want to say the um, the ambiance. The ambiance of, of uh, relationships outside of you and your girl or you by yourself. That's definitely there. You're not going to really feel that lonely in those countries. Okay? All right? But they're very cliquish. I will say that. Those people, when you see them out all the time, it's the same type of groups of people. Right? Yeah, I grew up with this one. This one's my cousin. And, you know, they went to school with me. And they, they, just, they just roll with each other all the way up. And they start having kids with each other. The kids start to be friends. All that shit. Right? So Austin is in a in countries where it's it's very they outside. They outside. They're always they're always out. The malls are still popping. Get what I mean? The malls are still popping. People still go to the malls. The restaurants will always be popping in those cultures, okay? No empty bars. The clubs will be busy. People like to dress up to go out, right? Or and nothing name brand, by the way. No Richie Million, none of that shit. That's the big difference in the U.S. Um, the U.S., unless you're in a biggest city, like a New York City, a Miami, which is Spanish culture. Again, New York, all these places that are popping are mostly non-American uh, colonized areas, which what I mean is 
there's a diversity of other races there. So they bring that over. Do you see how I'm going with that? Especially, you know, New York is a big, you know, macro, a macrocosm of many different cultures. So when you see people sitting outside after work and doing all that and it's busy and it's just moving, it's bringing all those cultures in one that do have the we outside, let's communicate mentality. Uh, let's take let's take a uh, let's take the opportunity to to, to get some experiences, and I and I and I'll put it frankly. The other cultures are not as focused on money and status as the U.S. as we are as U.S. citizens, because I'm part of that. I'm, I've been programmed myself. I have to deprogram myself from these other countries. All right. Meaning you don't got to pull up with the Richard Milley or the Porsche Taycan and all that. Like Brazil, I've seen one Taycan and one Urus. One time. All right? And he, they looked out of place. And, and, that, and that guy was parking wherever he wanted to park. And, you know, he felt big. But I was just looking at him like, you don't really need that here. Like, you good. Your Honda Accord fully equipped is luxury in some of those countries, guys. All right, in some of those areas, unless you go to like a suburban area and then they got nothing to do, right? When you go to suburbs, they got really nothing to do but the strip mall. So that's when you start seeing nicer cars and shit. That's all they can really show off with, right? Because, you know, they're in the suburbs and not in the city. All right, but again, big point here is foreign people are more open to communication because they're relationship based. U.S. nowadays, at least from the cities I've been in, it's all about status, money, 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 and then that keeps you enclosed to a small circle, usually your family, and then cohorts you do business with. Let's keep going. As a black woman, I'm saying, spend your time with them. We're okay. We're, we're not upset. Really? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, if anyone is going to come and talk about us as a collective and say that we're not worthy enough, well, we bid you for I never said that. I never said that. I never said that. But I'll tell you this, since I've been back in the United States, it hasn't been convincing to switch back over. That's why I'm here today. Okay, well, again, we can proceed. I'm just saying for one black person to another, go where you appreciate it. That's for everybody. Go where you appreciate it. There, there, don't, don't worry about it. If, if you found a culture or you found a human being that dates you and the one you want, the way you want to be dated, spend your energy there. And that's for any single person. I would agree. Okay, so Austin, 25, you said, okay, so the question is what kind of woman are you looking for? So you said a black woman that doesn't disrespect black men. Anything else? That's the, that's the base of it. Well, do you want to give examples in which ways that you have find black women? <laughs> so, like that, I'm saying she should be respectable when she talks to the man. She should be respectable with the man's time, his wants, and she should be considerate of his needs as well. Because it's, it's always not one-sided. I hear in the United States it's always one-sided. Well, I can ask you one more question just about the other ethnicities that you said have us be. Have you dated them? Yes, I have. So what happened? Why are you not with them anymore? Oh, I'm traveling. I'm traveling, so I can't commit, but I've experienced. So why did those relationships end? Just because you were traveling? Oh, they, 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 I got plenty on standby. They haven't ended yet. I oh, they're on standby? This is like a plane. They're waiting to board. Yeah, I'm going to have some black kids, that's for sure. Okay, okay. <laughs> so... You see why I support the brother said he's gonna have some 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 black kids. Shout out to him. He loves he loves. See that these guys that travel, uh, a lot of people think it's colorism. I will be honest with you, ladies. Black men are less colorist. Well, that's a, I don't want them to say a lie. I, I think we're both got problems. Yes, yeah, my Haitian dude. I'm trying to hook up, man. I'm trying to do something with it. Anyway, uh, yeah, th there's a lot of um, colorism. A lot of colorism in our culture. And uh, I respect the man that loves himself. Um, I don't I don't have a problem with interracial interracial relationships if it's natural. Right? If it's natural. But don't, you know, um, and I don't have a problem other way if that's what you want. My 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 thing is, it's kind of sad that you would go. Well, you know, I don't want to go to other cultures, but from what I see other cultures, I don't want to use Asia as a, as a dipping stick. But certain cultures go, well, I don't like my eyes and I don't like my skin tone, so I'm going to marry this type of guy and make myself clean, more clean. Or the curly hair syndrome. The curly hair syndrome is huge in our community. Huge. And for Austin to go on this show and say to Kendra, with, every, if, with everywhere he's been, to still say, I want to see my black kids. Shout out, shout out, shout out to Austin. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys that hate him. Shout out to the brother. Now, he may get something else. He's young, right? Something else may happen. But the fact that he made that statement internalizes to me that he loves his coach. He loves himself. He's just looking for something, something that's not as much on the money side than from what he's seeing in America. The money side includes a whole list of testimonial things that come with it. It comes with expectations. When you have a money side mentality, ladies, 
you expect a lot more from the man and you expect it to be rolled out. All right. I want a maid. I don't want to have to cook. I need 10 trips a year. He needs to drop the Bentley Flying Spur because I was looking at this. That should look good. But it's old now. By the way, them, them gas cars are old. So maybe too late for you to show off with that. Uh, you know, I, I want a, you know, I want a, a six bedroom, a four, five and a half bath home. Um, you know, you know, why can't I have this? Like, like that's normal in a city landscape. Now you can go to fucking Oklahoma and all those. And, deep shit georgia and find something no doubt about it I, I was thinking about that too i ain't gonna lie to you because i'm out on that scale where i can afford a 20 million dollar house but you know if you know that's you know those those areas if you want a family for people i can't lie to you it's tempting it's like you guys are secluded you gotta be with each other you gotta do the family life and you, you just you know you get close enough to the city where you can drive in i think that i don't know that does that really work in my opinion i think it may work Cause when you, you got to get away from all the shit, um, the problem is when I thought about it, the shit is on the phone and there's no way to get away from it. <laughs> Let's go. Let's keep going. So, um, disrespectful or anything else, you got to the deal breakers. Huh? This must be the part of what you want. What do you mean? Like the question is, cause in the deal breakers, you can say, I don't want a disrespectful woman. This question is what kind of woman are you looking for? So I guess the good qualities that you desire should be your answers. <sighs> like I said, how she talk to the man is respectful of his time. Please hit the gym. Please hit the gym, and the pH Ooh. needs to be balanced as well. Yeah. Hit the gym, pH is balanced. I have a lot of questions for you. I will answer your questions, don't worry. Um, anything else before we go to your deal breakers? No, go ahead, go ahead. Um, okay, I'm going to read some of these questions. They're begging me to read these questions. Um, so, uh, Marika, I can't pronounce your name, said he paid $100 to argue and to get some Red Bull followers. Uh, <laughs> I didn't pay nothing. She I didn't ask nobody to pay nothing. You paid, somebody sent me $100 to pick you. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't send it. I didn't ask him to send it. Oh, so somebody else sent it? Yeah, that wasn't my name. Okay, so that wasn't his name. Courtney said he's live now using you. You're live now? I was live first, and they said you should call in because I was supposed to date a black woman here in Dallas, several black women in Dallas, but y'all know how y'all are, so. How, well, I don't, I don't live in Dallas, so I can't speak for the black. You know every black woman is the same, right? You can't make one statement. I know they're not, because I've been a Latin American, they're not the same. Okay, you have to stop your live on your page, though, so are you live right now? I'll, I'll stop my live, go ahead. I'm gonna stop my live, too. I don't got time to try. I don't got time. How about that? You stop your live, I'm gonna stop my live, and all the lives are stopped, okay? Listen, can y'all can build your own shit, please? Can all y'all build your own pages and your own platforms without trying to call and use my good ass, hard ass work? Put in the work just like I put in the work and build your own shit. Now, all you want to do is get black women upset so they can start... Black, black women, y'all should really take the advice. I don't care. If you want to date a white woman, it is, go ahead. I, I, I don't care. Black women, I don't care. Asian women, I don't care. Go and date them. Don't spend your time worrying about us. We don't... You, what you say? We don't work out. We talk bad. We want you to make a lot of money. Okay. So you don't want us. We don't want you. It sounds like... It sounds like an equal category. Many, many years ago. I'll never forget this. And it's so old because it was an Oprah Winfrey show. And Steve Harvey was... We shouldn't be giving up like that. We shouldn't be giving up like that. Let me show you why. Let's get out here. Hopefully no porno pops up. <laughs> uh, Jaden Miller. Okay. Where's that address come up? I love, I'm going to put up um, black woman single mother rate. Black woman single mother rate. Kendra, Kendra, sorry, but we need to care. Kendra, Kendra, my sister's out there, black woman. I did this channel for a reason. I'm putting myself out there. I'm putting myself out there for a reason. Even white communities that struggle in relationships dearly, white guys, white women, they all, I got friends on both sides. They tell me they struggle. It's hard. A lot of them want to get out. But what are they getting out to as we as I talk to them? Like, what are you really getting out there? You think there's something better out there? Yeah, you're gonna get a couple of cheap thrills and excitement. But then after that, that'll die down. Sometimes it's better to struggle in what you're doing for your kids to raise something special. And I think they understand that. I think that's a lot of there's no difference between us black and whites in the relationship. Everyone struggles. Spanish as well. Everybody struggles. I thought the Latin men had it good, and then I started seeing my Mexicanos, my Colombianos, my Paisas, and all that shit. You know, Ecuador, El Salvador. 
you know, Venezuela and Brazil. Men of all cultures have the same issue. European men, the same issue. Chinese men, you know, men and women dynamic is tough. It's tough. But it's just a sacrifice that you have to have when having a relationship. The selfishness has to go away. I think the black culture has to be the most selfish just by these numbers. Look at the numbers here. I don't have the facts to tell you which side is in the wrong in all of all these cases, but this is fucking horrendous. I didn't even know it'd be this high. There's no, there's no, there's absolutely no question why we would be the top of the charts for crime with these statistics. I can't even believe what I'm looking at. All right. And this is a quick search. I understand it's not, data could be uncouthed, right? It could be uncouthed, but that's crazy for that, for them to be able to, uh, I think I trust this one, Statista. Wow, this is sad. Kendra, sorry. You better care. You got a platform. Austin cares in tough love kind of way. Okay? Austin cares in a tough love kind of way. I know he's trying to get his money. We all were at that age. I know, I know listen, man, I don't give a fuck. I want to get my money, have my goals. I got it. But... In relation to him getting his money, God, the higher power, is driving a message. Okay? That's my belief. He's driving a message through the young man. Um, I do think it's environment, but this is crazy, man. Luckily, it's gone down through the years. Thank Lord Jesus. That's amazing. 48% of poverty, 25%. So it's gone down. That's a nice number to see. Strolly going down. So that's actually not bad. All right. What's the white household? Let's let's look at this number of few U.S. families with a single mother, number of black family, number of U.S. white single mother house. Let's go to this one. I just want to see this real quick. It's been steady. Can't even give it a percentage or what are we doing here? What's the percentage? They get married, man. They get married. Divorces are down, huh? Is that what they're showing? Wow, really high. Really high. It's actually gone down. This is good numbers here, man. Statistica, I do like Statistica. Asian families, what, nothing? Oh, they're going the reverse. They're going the reverse because the second gen generation's here. They're going to catch up to the white woman, no doubt about it. They're going to catch up to the white woman, no doubt about it. Interesting stat, scary stat, sad stat, all right? Sad stat. 46 number of divorce in the U.S. 0.69. I'm not sure what that means. Divorce in the U.S. Uh, dancers, choreographers have the dancers and choreographers have the highest divorce rate. <laughs> oh, no wonder, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Why? Why would that be? <laughs> Housing is the biggest factor in raising a child. You need seventy thousand. Okay, all right. Number of births in the U.S. three point six six. All right. All right. All right. This is good numbers, man. I think this is good numbers. Um, single parent. I really do want to see the white by a number. Hispanic families. I want to see this. Slowly rising. Wow. Slowly rising. I told you the Latinos, it's because of the culture here. It's based off a certain culture. It's not yours. It's going to change it. It's going to change your kids. They can't help it because they're in school. They're watching the TV. It's not in Spanish. They're going to get the U.S. Oof, I feel sorry for you guys. You think you're winning coming here, but then you lose. That's how the U.S. gets you right there. That's how the U.S. gets you. Wow. Wow. That's how they get you. They have a strong family base. So for, for that to start to happen, it's sad. It's sad. They'll lose it. White mothers, I just want to go back again. Okay, what about black mothers? Let's go black. Do they have a number? Why do they got percentage for the black? <laughs> oh, because we have a lower. They don't even got black on here. 
Never black disappeared. Ain't that crazy? Anyway. I just want to see. But they don't have. They don't have the. Well, that number is lower than the whites because there's more. So that's that's a good that's a good point. A thousand two hundred eight. The whites in total for just a woman was seven thousand. So uh, I bet population wise they're higher because there's more more of them here. Okay, so that that makes sense. Anyhow, anyhow, go back to I know I just killed the video, but that was dope to look at. Oh come on, Kendra G, what happened? I think that summarizes it, guys. I think she's gonna go in and just just hate on Austin. Black woman, black people, we we need to care. Every culture, no offense, it's not even a racial thing. Every every culture needs to care. The more single households we see and we get, and by the way, that's drizzle drizzle. The more pain we're gonna see in society, uh, or or higher chances of pain. I'm not saying there's not killers and murderers and rapists with two parent households, but it hires the probability. Of getting that in a single parent household and then it breaks the mechanisms of relationships people don't really know what to do and that's why there's cheating there's scds going high there's you know people in loneliness they don't know where to go because they don't know how to be in relationships because it's just losing its way um i think both are good good channels subscribe to both but uh is austin telling the truth about black women he's doing a real life case study he's searching he's looking he's trying to talk to people he's trying to communicate i think it's just cultural um, you do have to live in a major city to get that appeal where people just sit outside and eat and shit like that. I'm not even in an area that does that like that on a frequent basis, but Miami's probably the closest thing to it. LA has some spots and then definitely New York. Um, and that's because of the diversity. Dallas is not as diverse and as well as Houston, but Houston may give them more play. Your buddy Mikey signing off here, man. Dope conversations between black women and black men. Hey, drizzle, drizzle, sprinkle, sprinkle. But it also crosses lines through other cultures. So we continue to watch the uh, the downfall of relationships as a whole. No one's taking accountability for nothing.